Hey guys, in today's tutorial we are creating this cool globe icon you see right here inside Affinity Designer version 2 and we're starting with a new clean document and zooming in a little bit and we are using the ellipse tool by holding down shift to create a perfect circle. So a perfect ellipse which is a circle and we can now use stroke. We are going with something like 10pt for example and these are my settings and I'm always going with align stroke to inside for now, make, choosing the move tool and making the circle a little bit bigger, something like this. By holding down shift we are keeping the proportions, moving inside the middle of our document by having snapping activated and the next step is to create the shape of the continents and for this one we are using an image to help us, which is this one I've got from Unsplash. So first we need to remove the, um, the um, filling of our circle by selecting this filling right here and clicking transparency. And we are moving this image underneath our circle icon. So I got this image from unsplash.com. So you can search for any image you want to, which fits your um, icon you want to create. And after that, we are moving this underneath our ellipse, our, underneath our circle and reducing the opacity to something like 30% or 40. And now our task is to create um, a soft shape of uh, these continents we see right here. So we're zooming in and we're using the pen tool right here, going something like 1pt for the stroke and or 2pt and simply clicking on um, some points we see right here on this helping image for the shape of the continents. So something like this, it doesn't need to be perfect because the icon will always or nearly always be um, very small and therefore you won't see all these details. So we can go like this and we need to do this for um, all the continents and islands we see right here. So like here and now we are moving them together and we're starting with the next shape which is this one right here. And the next shape something like this. And we keep going with Africa right here. So for the shape and down here. And now make them together, the strokes. So that's always very important because we want to fill them in the end. And we also want to smooth our notes. So make sure to, um, to connect them again. So you have one curve and also for this one right here. And the more shapes you create, the more detailed it will look in the end after we are finished. So keep that in mind. So we're also going with this little island right here, I think. And also this shape right here. Something like this should do. And now to finish these um, shapes, we are creating those three. So right here. Something like this. And now to finish our both islands right here. And this is the last shape we need to create. And now to make it look better, we are going with our selection tool and selecting all of the curves. So we can go like this, but we don't need the ellipse. So we can hold down command or if you're using um, Windows, you can use control instead of command and remove the ellipse right here. And now clicking on our node tool right here, selecting all of the nodes again and then going to convert and to smooth to smoothing our shapes we created. And the next step is selecting those curves by uh, selecting the first one 
holding down shift and the last one and now going to color removing the stroke color to transparency or by um, changing with transparent the transparent filling and going to swatches and going with black for our filling and we can now also delete our um, image image we used as um, guide and now we're going with our lips again we're going to a layer expand stroke and now we can go with the move tool again select everything we created and click right here on boolean operations to add all of them together in one curve which is now our globe icon and to make this icon look even cooler we can use a simple gradient so we're going to the gradient tool right here clicking on our curve selecting our curve and then something somewhere here holding and here and also click right here to add uh, um, a third point to the gradient and now we're using the gradient i've used in this example right here and we're going with the gradient right here we can click here and double click here to have the hex code we can now um, um, copy and paste for the first color changing and pasting right here for the first color double click paste and enter and now also for the last two colors this color has this hex code and paste right here enter and now the last and the third color i've chosen for this gradient is this one copy click right here and paste and to make it pop out of our um, background of our document to make it look even cooler we can now select the icon we can go to quick fx we can go outer shadow something like 30 pixels and 50 pixels is normally my choice maybe a little bit less 30 something like this and angle 315 degrees color we can use black for now and that way we are finished with this video if you enjoyed watching don't forget to like and subscribe and hopefully see you on the next video and bye